This time we are going to talk about modifiers in Riverpod. Basically, modifiers are a simple way to change how we deal with our providers. And the first one that we are going to see now, inshallah, is the modifier family. It is really simple, so don't be scared by the amount of code. I have created a simple enum uh, with a type of number, if it is low, medium or high, the uh, basically the type of number that we want to generate with our state provider and here i have created a simple state provider instead of using the arrow function i have used the, the body because i want to do some operations inside i use the random with this the dark mat so if you don't have it you have to import it and here i define this private variable uh, with the late because I want to assign the value later in this occasion after checking the, uh, with the various if else here I define the type that I want for example low I will check if the type that I want is equal to low or medium or high if it is low it will give me a random number from 0 to 10 if I'm not wrong, I, th I think from uh, 0 to 10 or from 10 to 50 because here I have 40, it will generate a number from uh, 1 uh, to 40 and then I add 10 and here it will give me a random number uh, from 50 to 100. After doing so, I get the number uh, by the type that I have defined, in this case uh, I have cho choose low and uh, since I have choose low, it will compare it right here. It will see that I, the type that I have choose is low. It will generate this random number here and it will print it to the screen. Here, uh, when I read the provider, I use watch. I pass it to this variable and then I show it on the screen as you can see here. Now, the point is that uh, this is not the best sh scenario because uh, Usually we don't want to define the type here, but maybe we want to define it here based on some other strange conditions. So the question is how we can uh, pass a parameter from uh, to our state provider. So before it generates our, our random number, we can pass to it something, for example, this type here. This is why we, we use uh, modifiers. The one that really comes useful in this occasion is is the modifier family. We change the way how our state provider works just by adding uh, that family by accessing this method. And now it gives error because we, after the ref, that it is the first parameter, we uh, want to add another one. And here as an argument, we want to define our type so we can pass the type somewhere here and then we can use it here inside so we can do this by instead of defining our variable here we can use it as an argument here we want a type as a parameter of type of number so here we can basically delete it and we are okay and as you can see now it gives error here because uh, uh, now we have um, this modifier that changes how we deal with our provider and obviously here we can change it to family just to make it um, uh, in reality i prefer to type something like family of get random number so I can call it here, I have the same problem because it will get the ref, but we haven't defined the type. So we do this by calling it simply. So we type here and we can choose, for example, type of number high. We are basically passing one of our enums and it will check here inside, it will go uh, right here and it will generate a number uh, more higher than 50. As a side note here you can also type like this maybe it's better but I prefer to uh, I prefer to use um, all the types. Okay let's save. As you can see now we're able to pass a new parameter to our family we are able to generate a new number. We also have two amazing examples in the documentation 
The first one, obviously here you can find it under concepts, modifiers, family. Here the first one, it uses future provider. I, I, I haven't done a video about future provider because um, it is a simple provider, but it returns a future. So it is nothing special about it. Basically uh, under future provider, it uses this modifier family. Uh, it passes to it the ID that it adds to uh, when it does the HTTP get uh, call. Basically it will return a value based on the different ID that it will pass. So obviously when it gets called, you call uh, messages family and you pass to it your ID. And another example is uh, by using locales and obviously uh, as explained here, you can uh, use your family and call multiple times and have different values. So in that case, if I had to call my generate ram random number uh, another time with another value, I will get the, the other value. 